Hi everyone, okay, I'm back in my kitchen just for a short time, so I'm going to be making two batches of soap back to back today. So first off I'm going to do sparkle box, and then I'm going to do one called Om, which hasn't been in stock for quite a while. So um, I'll just talk you through the process, and you can see how I make both of those. So yeah, I'm moving my workshop, and I won't be in my new premises until the start of April, and I've got to like lay flooring down and stuff like that. So I'm just back in my kitchen making soap and I've got a storage unit where I'm putting all my stuff so I've got somewhere to keep it all. It's not easy but we're getting there so yeah making soap today so stay tuned. Okay blah 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 charcoal mixed together. I've also got some yellow vibrance mica. This is thickening up for some reason. Might be soaping a bit warm today anyway, like I usually do. Yeah, that's going a bit weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to hurry up. So if we give it a stir we should be okay but you never know with these things. Sometimes that yellow mica can cause me some trouble. I've never, like, I didn't realise until I made a soap a while back and all the other micas, oh, hang on, door. Yeah, as I was saying, all the other micas performed fine, but not the yellow one. The yellow one decided to accelerate on me for some reason, which was a bit odd. So I don't know what's in yellow mica to make it do that, because I've never had that happen before. Okay, these are thickening up just a little bit too much, but we will be able to salvage because it's not gone completely thick yet. It's still fluid. It's just uh, one of those that likes to thicken and then come back into itself, luckily. <laughs> I think that's what I hate so much is when something will accelerate and then, you know, ruin your whole soap design. <laughs> Let me go back to fluid again. It's weird it's going to perform. So we'll have a bit of that. And we'll have a bit of that. We're just going to do like a drop swirl and then I'll probably put a hanger. So, well, like the butterfly. I'm going to do like a butterfly swirl, I think. Or well, I might just use my chopstick. Love that chocolatey brown colour. It's really lovely. doesn't really matter, I don't suppose how this really goes in because it's going to be swirled anyway. My favourite kind of uh, soap making is this, you know, but you probably noticed because that's the kind of soap making I do nearly every time. Just pour it in in random bits and hope for the best. Okay, I've got a swirl tool that I use that's just a garden wire with a straw on the bottom and it works really well for me actually. You want to do those sort of butterfly type swirls a la Zahida map. <laughs> Gosh, she changed the game. I love, love handmade in Florida soaps. And I love Zahida, she's a good friend. Okay, this next bit was just me putting all the rest of the soaps on the top so we can do a swirl, but it it took quite a long time, so I didn't want to keep it all in the video because it was taking up too much space. Okay, I've got some mica in oil here that I just mixed up earlier to do some drizzles over the top of this to merge it in. To the top and then these mixtures I've made up, I think I'll probably use in a different soap. After I've done these two that I'm going to do now, I will come back mix up some more soaping oils and I'm going to do another soap at the end just to use up the colours that I've mixed. So it'll have to be something that suits like a yellow and a pink. So I'm thinking more, probably like a lemon berry or something like that, I don't know. Okay. 
So I've got to just want to mix that in just to get it level somewhat. That's come out really dark, that brown. It looks black, but it'll probably lighten up as the soap starts to saponify and cure out. So let's get some swirls going on. That's come out really nice. For something that I thought was just about to accelerate and go crazy on me, that's actually really good. So there is Sparkle Box. And this one will be ready in a few weeks or four weeks. So that's that, and I'll be back to show you the making of Om. Okay. Just going to start on soap number two. So fragrance all going in for Om soap. Now this is a blend of, actually it's essential oil, not fragrance oil. It's a blend, I can't remember quite how many are in there. I think it's like eight. It's a really, really soothing, beautiful blend. It's got geranium as the main note. And then there's like a host of other ones. So I've got like pettigrain, patchouli, rosemary, vetiver, cardamom. Um, <laughs> there's tons in here. It's like, a you know when you open like a... Say you've got an essential oil box, like a box of all different essential oils. It kind of smells like when you would open a box and you get that sort of beautiful, wonderful herbal smell. It smells like that all together. It's lovely. Om is like a really, really popular one with my customers. It's so soothing. Really, really works to sort of settle the mind down after a long day. It really does. It's just gorgeous. So try Om if you are like those soothing relaxing herbal blends because this one's just lovely and quite complex okie dokie so i've got two my main base color is like a turquoise and then i'm going to use some of this lovely royal blue mica and some white for my swirl a nice sort of soothing um, colours as well. This royal blue is so good. This is a nurture one, it's called Blue Vibrance. I suppose any mica supplier would do like a bright blue like this, like a nice royal blue, so get you some. Okay, now some people use their micas in oil, but I sometimes just add them straight to my soap batter. Because it's quite easy to incorporate these, so you'll see. So yeah. Spin, 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 spinning, spinning, spinning faster, spinning, 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 spinning. Okay, so you can see how the colour has changed to a lovely turquoise blue. And that was two teaspoons of mica, I think, going into there. Spin, 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 spin. Spin, spin, spin. Okay. Pretty much ready to pour. So I'm going to prepare my mould. Okay, ready to pour. So my sparkle box soap is getting a crack on the top, so I'm going to have to fix that in a second. Let's just pour on. Concentrate on getting that done first. Tool again.
This is actually a skewer for making kebabs. <laughs> but it's better than my chopstick because my chopstick was too thick on the ends. Okay, that's on. So I will see you for the cut of these two. Thank you for watching. Okay, time to cut these. It's Saturday morning. Coffee's making its uh, way around the corners of my body, kicking in. Ready to go. So first up is Sparkle Box. So this came out nice. So let's cut. Let's cut, see what's inside. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just take the top off, get rid. Okay, so that sparkle box, that's where I've put that swirler in both sides and it's just copped that middle bit next up is om i'm so glad i've made this again this is one of my personal favorites just because the scent and if you've been watching me a while you'll know what i'm like for essential oil soaps they're kind of most of the time my favorites so this one is uh right up my street. There's the inside. Swirls obviously always look different when you... Okay, we've got some trimming to do on this this log. The swirls like facing this way are always different to how it's going to look when it's cut because we're going the other way when we cut it. Okay, see some tissue. Okay, then here's that quick batch I made at the end of the raspberry and banana and this smelled pretty much the whole house out yesterday the banana is so so strong it actually gave me a bit of a headache I had to get out <laughs> get out of the house and go and do something okay these will have to be cut a little bit um thicker because the soaps are not as tall as the other ones because the cavity in the mold is smaller it kind of looks like a cartoon do you see what I mean like it's kind of like cartoonish nice crooked line kind of came out okay I expect it will be nicer when we actually cut the actual soap so let's get this one out of the way uh, to move that in a bit so I'm going to cut sparkle box and on first and then come back and do the other that last one okay I should probably turn you around for this okay just turn you around just so you can see the thing the cutter going through this so there's my end piece So I'll cut one log of each batch and then uh, we haven't got a beer all day, have we? So this is nice. This is nice. For that as well, that had thickened up if, uh, if you watch the making of this. Oh, you would have done because it's all on the same video. <laughs> Then you can see this actually yeah, thickened up quite a lot on my bit. For something that's thickened, it looks like it's uh, stayed pretty fluid. Although it did um, come back into itself, didn't it, when we 
making it kind of went fluey again which is weird really very nice it's come out really nice loving the colors it's a bit dark in here this morning i'm trying to capture the light coming in from the window it's just having it on this side you can see the cut but the, cut, the uh, light changes in the room so sparkle box came out nice happy with this one <laughs> I think okay we can turn these around so I've got somewhere to put these things okay so let's cut into om and see what that is like probably the same as it is every time I make it and yes it is that's good to know I don't have to change the pictures on the website <laughs> the website needs updated with the pictures I haven't done anything to it for a long time and there's some pictures have just got a bit stale and I want to kind of change it up just a bit but it means making all the soaps again so I can take all the pictures again this is lovely Mm, smells so good. It's got black pepper, cardamom, pettigrain, geranium, I always forget, patchouli, vetiver. So it's like some nice heavy base notes, which are then lifted really nicely with the middle notes and top notes. So it's like a perfect blend really on. I've been studying, studying perfumery for the last few years and I've been sort of um, having a play and making some new scents up. But I want to take the perfumery in a different direction really, but it's time. It's having time to do all that, all of those things and create and be able to then create my own perfumes, which I can then use in soap. And it's a long, hard slog because you have to get everything assessed twice in my case. So if I wanted to, uh, these are okay, I can do all these in soap. But if I wanted to use like the aroma chemicals myself and then make up my own fragrance oils, I need to get all those sorted. So it's um, tricky. That'll have to be used for samples. Let me just tidy up a bit, just doing my head in. So yeah, ideally I'd like to do that. I'd like to make my own scents and then be able to use them in all of my products so that every single one is unique rather than using people's, you know, other people's fragrance oils. That's what I want to be able to do. But it's going to take time, so I'm going to try my best. Okay, so here comes... Raspberry banana. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. So I'm cutting this a bit thicker just because the bars are shorter. So this came out nice. Kind of looks 80s. 80s colours, like 80s t shirt colours. Nice. And so it's textured tops. Colours always come out more pale the next day. No matter how much you put in, I think, you know, well, you can't put too much, Mike. I did one the other day and <clears throat> I'd made um, a Rook and Raven, it was, and I'd used some different colours inside. And one of the colours, I'd used too much mica and it was quite powdery, so you can use too much colour. It was okay, and as it cures, uh, cures out, it will be fine, but it um, yeah, went a bit crumbly on one of, a few of the bars. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Something about wavy tops. Love. These are nice 
chunky bars. So that's that. That's all the soaps cut and I'll put some pictures on at the end for you to see them all together. Okay then, that's all my that's my soap making session from yesterday and this morning. I will see you again very soon. Bye.